Hi, I'm Tim Cavanaugh, comedian and speaker, and here I am at my job, being laughed at at work. A lot. Like all the time. For most jobs, that's a bad thing. For me, I wouldn't have it any other way. My comedy is clean, so everybody has a good time. I write funny material just for your group, so the show is always unique and on target. And my show is interactive. Hey, I'm there live, you're there live, let's talk and have some fun. So what's so funny? Here's a sample. We were up in Appleton yesterday, and we went up to the mall, and I feel bad. I made a woman cry out at the mall. Well, she came up to me with a clipboard. She said, do you mind if I ask you a couple questions? I said, no, that's fine. She said, on average, how much money do you make every year? I thought about it with the best straight face I could manage. I said, uh, $250,000. She says, what do you do for a living? I said, I take surveys over at the other mall. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, she didn't think it was funny, but I agree with you guys. It really kind of was. I have a nephew just applied for a job out at the mall. He said the job applications have gotten very complicated. This one had a lot of fill in the blank questions, a lot of true false questions. One question read, when I'm at work, my mind is generally blank. He put true. <laughs> Probably the easiest one, but uh... So, so what, what kind of car do you drive, sir? A Mustang. Ooh, yeah. The, the Hyundai people thinking we're going to have to make something up. And uh, I saw the Hyundai out front. I love the bumper sticker. My other car is a Kia Rio. Uh, I loved her new slogan, Hyundai, where quality is not just a word, it's an abstract concept. Anyway. Uh, no, they were thinking they had one of those Hyundai reunions like they used to do with the Saturn, but then they realized, how would you get there? So, um, so you got the Ford Mustang, very, very nice. So what year's your Mustang, sir? A 2008. Ooh, yeah. And the nice thing about those 2008 Mustangs, seriously, another five years, whew, you own it. So... Uh, <laughs> The Hyundai people thinking, we paid cash. Because you can, sure. Before coming up to the Abbey, I asked the nice folks here at Blaine's Farm and Fleet to send me some information about the company. And they were kind enough to send me an advanced copy of the next Fleeting Moments magazine, uh, which happened to be the swimsuit edition. And... Uh, let me just say six pages of Bob Glazer and Little Speedos. Uh, more information than I wanted to have, to be honest with you. I, I, is Bob here? I, uh, yeah, I didn't recognize him with the pants and everything. But anyway, uh, before dinner, I had a long talk with Ken Peterson. I didn't want to. He just kept talking. But... Uh, We, uh, we got talking about teamwork, and that's one of the things that I think makes this company so successful, is its commitment to teamwork. And just as sports teams will sometimes make themselves stronger by making trades with other teams, the same is true in business. And that's why I'm excited to announce that Farm and Fleet is trading Pete Lombardo to Fleet Farm for a 1996 Ford pickup and two office temps to be named later. So... story I did a show a couple weeks ago at the University of Utah. You know the name of their team? They're called the Utes. Now I didn't realize that's a Native American tribe. I thought they just shortened the name of the state, slapped an S on it, called them the Utes. I said, well, what if other states did that? You know, you have the University of Pennsylvania pencils, like we're number two. Probably the toughest team, the University of Virginia. Oh man. Fighting virgins, that's a tough team, I'll tell you what. Team that's never been scored upon. Can you imagine their cheerleaders? Go, stop, go, stop. So 
Sue Woods. Oh, and you're with Grinnell Mutual. Not really. No. <laughs> <laughs> Has the meeting gone that badly that at this point you just want to distance yourself? You're just uh... no. I'm I'm here with a I'm a guest of someone who's with Grinnell Mutual. You're a guest of someone who's and that would be this guy behind you. Uh, Jerry, Jerry, nice to see you. Pleasure to have you here. Welcome. I got you. Yeah, you don't have to, you're not playing. Anyway, uh, so, so Jerry works for the company, is that right? Yes. Good, good for you, my gosh. Uh, what, what is he, do you have any idea what he does? Not at all. <laughs> That's probably safe. You know, it's better to know. Uh, and is he, a, I was going to ask if he was a hands-on. But anyway, um, so, no, no. It was even wrong for me to... I love you. That is so, that's just adorable. Here, yeah, 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 you're missing some of the best stuff. There you go. Anyway, well, so, so great to have you here, my guest. Jerry, what do you do? I'm the chief financial officer. Ooh. Yeah, this guy says he writes my check. Yeah, that's uh, funny. Anyway, uh, I got you. Hey, good idea to cost cut, make them pay for everything. Anyway, um... Uh, that's great. So, so my gosh, so he's the CFO. That's a big deal, Chief Financial Officer. My gosh, and and, and, and is he pretty generous with the, his money around the house? I don't ask. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever watched Oprah at all? You can get out. You can get out. I sent him for permission to spend. Oh, I see. Okay, you just. I'm sorry. Yeah, I just. Go ahead and spend them. Oh, go ahead and spend it. Yeah, there you go. My gosh. Kind of like some of the people working under you, Jerry, huh? Is that, uh, just, I'm joking. I, and you know what? The fact that people laughed is probably going to get me in trouble. All right, anyway. So, so, uh, so are you involved in the insurance business at all? No, I'm a minister. <laughs> Testament, you know, conflict uh, going on there. It's, it's, it's his job. And yes, they do it. My gosh, I'm sure he renders under Caesar, whatever that is. You, you don't want to leave the quote to you. Uh, so your minister, wow, that is very, very impressive. I'll tell you what, boy. Uh, what, what, uh, what, uh, what denomination are you? Um, it's Christian Church, Disciples of Christ, Christian Church. Disciples of Christ. Oh, they're the ones with the motorcycles. <laughs> I saw Jim Book, he's got, he's got the leather jacket from the of Speedo. So, oh yeah, it's Speedo, I shouldn't have mentioned that. All right. Kind of, kind of so, the Disciples of Christ, is that right? That's right. Yeah, good for you, my gosh. Well, how long have you been a minister? Um, since like 98, but just serving a church for the last two years or three years. He does numbers, I don't do <laughs> Two years, okay. So you've, you've just been the, the, like the, the, at a church for two years, and the first 10 years you were, you were preaching, but nobody would listen? <laughs> he would, all right, there you go. And then he'd give you money and you'd go to the store. All right, I, 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 I like your business plan. That is smart. That was, that's it for itself. Well, so if things are going well at the church, how many people do you have in your, uh, in your denomination there, your congregation? It's a small church. It's only about 50 people. Well, yeah, but that's but that's good. That's that's a good way to start. My gosh, as I said, I, I sell Amway. So, uh, to start with 50, next thing you know, it's 100. And uh, there's more money for you. So, uh, so that works out great. Oh, boy, I'm a little... You know, one thing that one thing that they didn't mention in my introduction, I, I, I was a teacher at an all-girls Catholic high school, but I was a religion teacher. Believe it or not, I'm not making that up. This is a, that is so weird. And the hardest question I got, and I, I need your advice on this because I don't think I answered it correctly. The qu kids would always say to me, what's the difference between purgatory and hell? You know, I used to try to explain it as well. Hell, of course, is very, very hot. In purgatory, it's not so much the heat, it's the humidity. <laughs> That's Iowa. That's Iowa. Yeah. 